So in my house, cleanliness is right next to godliness, at the very bottom of the list. <laughs> I don't believe in God, and I don't believe in daily showers. I mean, don't worry, it's not too bad now. Um, I take a shower most days, but as a child, I was something else. I mean, I know a lot of kids don't like to take showers and all that, but I took it to a whole new level. Like I would hide when it was time to wash up. Or I would pick a fight every time there was a request to like clean up my room or change my clothes. And um, one time, my mom, in an attempt to make it more fun to uh, change my clothes, she gave me the cute set of seven underwear with the days of the week. But by the weekend, I was still wearing Monday panties. And <laughs> it would have been more, uh, more better in my case to give me a set of uh, 12 underwears with the, the name of the month. But <laughs> and ev eventually, we, you know, we, we said a truce. We, uh, we will, we, I would take a bath once a week and uh, then the, change my clothes after that, and, and they would leave me in peace the rest of the time. And uh, I know what you're thinking. She's from France. <laughs> That's the way they do it over there. That's why they invented those fancy perfumes to cover up the stench. I mean, that's okay. I don't blame you for your stereotypes. I mean, you guys were raised in Pepe Le Pew. I get it. But let me tell you, it's not, not everybody in France was like that. I mean, my older sister, for one, was always impeccably clean. She changed her clothes daily. She brushed her hair and her teeth. And uh, my name is Lucy, but really, she was Lucy, and I was Linus. <laughs> I was always had a cloud of dust around me and a security blanket. And uh, I, this was like this old filthy rag, and my mom was not allowed to put it in the, in the wash, and it smelled, it was just impregnated with my, my sweat and my tears and my dreams, and I, I loved that thing. <laughs> And I was a little worried. I was like, how will I ever figure it out how to, as a grown-up, what I was going to do without it? Because I looked around and I noticed other kids are security blankets, some of them, but none of the grown-ups. <laughs> that was a little scary. But I noticed some of grown-ups were always fidgeting something and putting it in their mouth, <laughs> inhaling cigarettes. And so uh, I... I was a little sad about that because I didn't like the smell of cigarettes, but I was resigned that I would grow up to be a smoker. <laughs> and eventually I did grow up, and I did give up my security blanket, and uh, I never picked up smoking. But I, my standard of hygiene did go up a little bit. I started taking showers, and I moved to California. And it's really wonderful here because if you take short showers and you don't do a lot of loads of laundry, it's actually seen as a virtue. I really, <laughs> I, I love it here. So this is where I'm in my family and, and I've had a couple of kids. And actually this is where the story starts. Like all up to now, this was just background information to let you know <laughs> where I come from. And I know I don't have a lot of time left, but, but that's okay because my, my, short, my story tonight is, is short and sweet and sweaty. And uh, it's my ode to body odor. <laughs> So at the time of the story, my kids are 8 and 11, and they went to École Bilingue, the French immersion school next to Berkeley Ball West. And in that school, when in fifth grade, uh, they send you to France to go stay in a host family for a couple of weeks. And so that year, that was uh, my older son went, and uh, I, I warned him that you know, they might expect him to take a few more showers than he was taking at home. I mean, when I was about his age, I went to England for a month uh, and was a kid. It's a British family, and after three days, they had an intervention, and <laughs> they, they sat me down and tried to make that case why it was really not okay that I had yet to take a single shower. But anyway, I digress. He went, and he had a great time, but my younger one was really sad. He was just kind of moping around the house really missing his, uh, his you know, favorite playmate, because my kids had never been apart for so long. And, um, and so uh, at night, he decided he was going to sleep in his brother's bed. And so I went to tuck him in, and I was like, hey, bud, are, are you sure you want to sleep here? Don't you want to go to back to your own bed? Don't you sleep better there? He's like, no, 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 no. I want to sleep here every night till he's back. And I was like, oh, OK, but why is that? Because like, 
because it smells like him. <laughs> and it was just such a sweet thing to say, a sweet moment. I was just, okay, I'm, I'm going to lay down next to him. So I, I lay down, put my head on the pillow, and the bed sheet were rank. <laughs> oh, those things should have been changed weeks ago. And it was like sticking my nose down like a sweaty preteen armpit. <laughs> it smelled wonderful. <laughs> it really had this connection with him. And he was like thousands of miles away. And I just closed my eyes. And I had like one of my son curled up against me. And the smell of the other one all around us. And it was really comforting. It was really sweet. And I just gave silent thanks for my low standard of hygiene. <laughs> and a silent thanks for my wonderful sons who had such a strong bond, such love for each other. And in my house, cleanliness is at the bottom of the list, but love is right on top. Thank you.